Hi, Shalom. This is GMS Holland Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I would like to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rukakadash, the bonds to the elder apostle of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there spreading this word of sincerity and truth all over the four corners of the earth. Okay, um, as some of y'all probably know, I had my uh, Hebrew prayer series on GMS Holland sit downs now I'm gonna continue with on GMS Holland sit downs too uh, you know continuing where I left off uh, calling it the Hebrew prayer and uh, I believe it's uh, number 28 something like that you know after I have to check it out I lost count anyway this morning Spirit hit me to uh, make a Hebrew prayer. And um, while I was meditating, I was like, hey, we got to thank you, Abashim Shai, for being so merciful for us, man. So being so pitiful and merciful towards us that he grants us everlasting life and everlasting kingdom through the Lord Jehovah Shai. Okay, we got to be thankful for that. And, you know, while I was making the prayer, Spirit was really heavy on me, and uh, also with this prayer, I took a different approach um, due to the brother Kwatazab, Kwatazab Zayan from the Holland camp, and some brothers on the comment board um, that asked me if I would be able to um, to um, translate the prayer word for word. So I did my best. It uh, requires. Uh, a bit more effort, more time, but uh, I asked the brothers from uh, GMS Europe what they think, you know, the brothers from Italy, England, okay, uh, Holland, Germany, Finland, Ireland, I asked them what they think and, uh, you know, brothers uh, replied positively, so, Yara uh, Tazama, do it like this from now on, okay, because let me show y'all real quick. I made two versions. Okay, here I have the version without, without the, um, the meaning or the the translation of the words in between. And here I have the version with the translation. And I, I made the Hebrew. I made it fat. The, the letter, um, you know, form. Uh, I call that size. I made it fat. So basically, you would be able to read just the Hebrew, but, you know, I can understand you would like this too. So, yeah, like I'm holding, uh, I'm holding the screen on, uh, on the same page right now, so you can take a screenshot if you like, so you have the prayer saved in your phone. And also, if you want to have this one, you could take a screenshot and uh, save it in your phone. Um, so yeah, man, without further ado, let me uh, read this prayer unto y'all, which it states, of course, like I always uh, mention in the Hebrew prayer lessons, you always start with saying, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, okay, which means bless you, Yahweh, bless you, Yahweh Shai, three times, okay. Then you say, how Basham Shai. Now let me read the English first. It says, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. For thou, Yahweh Basham Shai, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy. Thanks and all praises to Yahweh. It's like, thanks and all praises to the power of my fathers. To the God of my fathers, fathers the power of my fathers, who had given me wisdom and strength. Okay, so really, this is a prayer towards the Heavenly Father to, to just um, say your thanks. Okay, I pray I will um, memorize the scripture or learn the scripture by heart, personally saying, you know, because this would be a beautiful prayer to close out the, the day with, you know, just put up your thanks to the Heavenly Father, man. It's very important that we give all thanks, glory, and praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai day in and day out <clears throat> okay so let me read the English again 
and says, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. For thou, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy. Thanks and all praises to the power of my fathers who had given me wisdom and strength. Okay. So, really, man. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai. So, let me read the Hebrew and uh, dissect it word for word. Then I'm going to read the Hebrew in one, uh, you know, in one, uh, in one go. So it says, Barakate Ahau, Barakate Ahau Shai, Barakate Ahau, Barakate Ahau Shai, Barakate Ahau, Barakate Ahau Shai. Ashamcha, which means I will rejoice. Wa, Ail Taza, Wa, meaning, and be, be, to be glad is Ail Taza, Ail Taza. To be glad, so. I will rejoice, wa, and will be glad, baka, in thee, kaya ata, for you, for thou, for you, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, tawap, art good, wa salach, and ready to forgive, wa rab, chasat, and plant you in mercy, chasat is mercy. Um, Tawada wa kal halal, thanks and all praises. Laka Allah abaatia, which Tawada is thanks, wa kal halal, and all praises. Laka Allah abaatia, which you know, of course, these uh, these Arabs be calling out to Allah, but really. Uh, it is a Hebrew word which means power. Okay, our power, which is a title. Now, when it says "laka," it's to you. Uh, Allah is uh, power, and Abaatia is my fathers. So, the power of our fathers, of our forefathers, referred to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, and of course for us now, all the forefathers that were before us that worshipped the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, and even after that, the disciples, the forefathers that were in Jerusalem, you know, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, they worshipped Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's why we say, through our teachings, through our prayers, we say, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, because Nobody can go straight to the Father nowadays. You have to go through the Lord Jehovah Shai. Okay, and I'm going to make that known also to the scripture in a minute. Okay, so it says, Laka um, Allah Abba To you, power. To you, power of my fathers. God of my fathers. Ashar Yanatan, who had given me. Okay, Ashar, who had, uh, or who uh, given me, Ya Natan, Ya Mi Natan, to give, Ya Natan, Chakama, Wa, Gabao, Rawa. Chakama is uh, wisdom, uh, Gabao, Rawa is strength. Now, another word for strength is also Chazak. But this Gabawrawa goes into um, being brave, uh, being brave and uh, having the courage, okay, which day in and day out we, are, we stand for before the wiles of the devil. Satan is busy. Satan jumps upon these Edomites. You know, we have to deal with, with spirits, man. Like the scripture says, uh, our bed, the battle of our warfare is not carnal, but spiritual. So the world may look at you and think like, oh, he, he, don't, he, don't, he doesn't have enough sleep. He looks tired all the time. What is wrong with him? You know, uh, he, he, um, he has this strong belief, right? Ain't he supposed to feel good? Ain't he supposed to feel happy and glad and, uh, and energized? But hey, this, this um, whole system is wearing you down, first off and foremost. And on top of that, constantly battling demons, demons constantly attacking you in your sleep, 
I had one that came in my room the other day and uh, it was trying to trick me. The entity was, uh, was uh, the entity changed himself into a part of my room. So when I woke up, because I felt the presence of this entity, I woke up and I started looking at the corner of my room and the entity was so, so called in disguise. So I kept looking for a while, then I turned around. <laughs> In the spirit, I tricked, I basically tricked the entity. So I turned around and then I, I looked back like, yeah, now I got you and it moved. And then I, 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 I was speaking. Okay, so my wife, she heard me talk and she was like, huh, what are you saying? I said, no, nah, never mind. But I was still in a, you know, sleepy state. So I just went back to sleep because, you know, the hell with these demons. So. In the morning, I explained to her that there was an entity, a demon, right there. I pointed even at the corner of the room. I said there was a demon right there. And uh, he tried to hide from me. When I saw him, he tried to hide from me and then uh, eventually it became visible. So these is the things, man. And you be sleeping, you be thinking you had a long night's sleep. But actually, while you're sleeping, you're not really, you're not really getting your rest, man. Okay, now these things happen, man. Demons jumping upon, upon um, family members might jump upon your wife, your baby mama, whatever, your children. All these things are happening, man. Okay, so we have to be thankful. Yahweh Basham Yashai gives us the strength, man, to deal with all these things. Okay, I've seen brothers, man, going through things. People in the world, even people, so-called tough guys that I knew in the world, so-called gangsters, right? They would, they would crumble from that shit, man. They would fold, okay? They would go to jail, okay? Because that's another thing. It's not only about the, the so-called um, soft side of emotions, but also the hard side of emotions, man. Okay, sometimes you want to flip out. Sometimes you just want to do some damage, man, to people. Okay, now according to the scriptures, we got to be temperate. Yah Bashem Yah Shari wants us to, te to be temperate, which goes into being self-controlled. Okay, but should be happening unto us, and that is th those are things that people in the world, Jake in the world, man, they would, they would probably reach out for a gun, blow his head, or blow his brains out, if someone did it to them. But guess what? We have to be in a spiritual uh, state of mind, man. We can't be on that carnal level, okay? Or if a guy can fight, then he would probably fight this dude, or punch the bitch in the face you know and those things come in our heads too and now those are demons whispering man demons whispering in our mind like hey just just punch this bitch in the face man for saying this this shit because of course through the weaker vessel a lot of disrespectful shit is being said okay satan wants you to to snap okay but the scripture says what be angry but sin not okay stay in the spirit so like I said, I'm breaking this down concerning the last thing you thank the Heavenly Father for in this prayer, which is that strength, which is that courage. Okay. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, the word to go more into it. I think it's a psalm in Psalms. Let me see. I think I took it out of the book, the book of Psalms. Let me see. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Anyway, when you have time, look it up. Uh, Gabar Wara, Gabar Wara, wisdom and strength. Okay, so now let me go to the scripture that I had on deck. Um, history. 
maybe I have it here. No. Okay, let me go to the scripture Ephesians. Okay, so I'm gonna read the scripture and then I'm I uh, then I'm gonna uh, read the Hebrew prayer in one go. Okay, this is Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Now this goes into what I was what I was speaking about. Satan is out there to tempt us, to make us go off. So you have to walk circumspectly, man. What does it mean to be circumspect? Let's, let's look up the word. Walk circumspectly. Exactly, accurately, diligent, circumspect, diligent. Okay, be aware of your surroundings, man. Diligently look at your surroundings and diligently look at the things Satan is doing. Now, this requires a certain amount of experience in this truth for you to be able to see how you are being tempted, what strings Satan is trying to pull on you or on people around you, how he wants to make you go off, man. It takes a while for you to see that. But if you put your mind to it, you can train yourself, man. You can train yourself to uh, be, become aware of your surroundings and of the things that are happening around you, man. That you be, become more spiritual, okay, and more aware. We got to walk as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yeah, man. So we have to consider. We have to realize that we are not living in no, no times of peace, man. We are living in a time of war, okay? We are at war right now, especially Esau. We, come on, man, each and every day, videos is being put up, but it's also being pulled down, man. Now that's, that's a spiritual warfare right there. We're trying to do our best to push the truth, okay? You got your channel, you got your subscribers, so you can make your life lessons. You can reach out to the brothers in a, good and decent way but then Esau just gives you two, two strikes one last strike he pulls up an a, a old old ass video man for back in the day and he strikes it too boom your channel is gone man okay now to be prepared and to be diligently aware of what you are doing what you got to do is get yourself your um, your hard drive external hard drive Okay, download all your older videos, man. Download the older videos of the apostles. Okay, get yourself these 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 um, milk script, uh, milk uh, videos, man. The old breakdowns, man. Because before you know it, you you're not able to get it no more, man. So be be prepared, man. Be prepared to have this this wisdom, knowledge, understanding stored first and foremost in your mind. And after that, you know, maybe on a hard, hard drive, man. So you have it with you, okay? And for the time being, let's say they cut off the internet, you might still be able to lose your, your laptop. So when you, lose, uh, when you use your laptop, just plug it in and watch these videos, man. Okay, because we are approaching some evil times. Verse 17, wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding... What the will of the Lord is. Exactly, man. Now, that's actually a part that I wanted to add onto this prayer. Uh, saying to Wada for giving us the understanding of the will of the Lord. Okay. But, uh, yeah, eventually I, I didn't do it. You know, I like to keep the prayers short and powerful. Okay. Scripture also says, like, don't, don't fall into repetition. You, you can make multiple prayers, man multiple prayers and that's also what this um what this uh, chapter is going into which is a beautiful thing okay so wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the lord is that is uh, that is very important man and we have prayers also yara taza i'm gonna upload all the hebrew prayers again and put them in a in a playlist upon uh jms on let's sit down stew channel shared with brothers so uh, y'all can find the playlist with the hebrew prayers y'all are the man tomorrow y'all are the the spirit uh, is on me to do that verse 18 and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit yeah man because the wine represents these philosophies of the world you don't want to be busy with all that all this worldly shit man and all this folly 
Okay, focus on the spirit. Focus on this truth. Focus on Yahweh Hashem Shai. Redeeming the time, man. Redeeming the time. Verse 19. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and in hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to Yahweh. Okay, so what does that represent? These psalms that we sing are these prayers, man. Okay, these prayers that we go into. The the singing unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, the teachings, the the, um, the lessons that we make. Okay, we what is this? What is the song? This truth. Okay, when we speak, when we have conversations with each other, we go over the truth. We go over the will of the Heavenly Father, what He wants, how He uh, requires us to be. Okay. Speaking to yourselves in psalms, and in hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart. To Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, so you gotta meditate upon this truth, man. You gotta constantly rehearse this truth. Okay, because this truth is a rehearsal, man. We gotta rehearse it over and over again. Okay, what does the Apostle uh, Gabar always say? This thing of ours is a thing of repetition. Now, what is also a thing of repetition? To learn a song, man. Okay, back in the days, you would look up the lyrics of a song. You would constantly re replay the the song because you like it, right? And you want to learn the lyrics. So you constantly replay, replay the song or rehearse it until it finally sticks and you are able to sing the song completely, man. That's what we are doing with this truth. We're getting better by the day, man, rehearsing it over and over again. You see? And when you read some, some scriptures, it, it uses words that are actually a musical... Um, musical... Um, um, how can I say this? Musical words, man. So, um, phrases, musical phrases. Okay, um, phrases that would be used in, in music. You find that a lot in the book of Psalms because the word psalm means song. Okay? So it says, verse 20, Giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh and the Father in the name of of our Lord Yahweh Shai, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yahweh. That's what we gotta do. That's how we gotta walk. Okay, fear towards uh, towards each other, cause the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a, is upon uh, the brothers that are standing next to you, man. So you gotta stay circumspect. Okay, don't offend one another. Treat each other like you wanna be treated, man. You see, these are important things. Yahweh Shai spoke about it many times, man. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Don't, but don't suffer sin upon your neighbor neither, man. So when you got to tell him what's up, tell him what's up, man. Don't suffer sin upon him. But like it says in verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, now let me read uh, this one. If you want, you can screen, screenshot it right now. <laughs> So I'm going to read the English, read the Hebrew, and then close it out. Okay, so it says, I will be glad and rejoice in thee, for thou, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy, thanks and all praises to the power of my fathers, who had given me wisdom and strength. Okay, so it says, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh, Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh, Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh, Shai, Hashem Cha, Wa Ahil Taza Baka Kaya Ata Yahaba Shem Yahu Shai Tawab Wa Salah Wa Rab Hasat Tawada Wa Kal Allah Laka Allah Aba Aba Atia Ashar Yanatan Hakama Wa Gabawa Ra Tawada 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 Yahaba Shem Yahu Shai Aman so with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, Shai, Bashem Shalom to the elect.